Here is a short video to show you how to add your own preset to the new repository created at patchstorage.com. So if you go to patchstorage.com, sign in, get yourself a user login. Once you do that, one thing you can do is explore all projects from there. You can basically select the platform. There's a lot of different platforms here. We added one for Egan Matrix. Go and select that. You can see all the presets that have been stored for Egan Matrix. Right now, there's only the ones that I've uploaded, but anybody that wants to upload their own, they'll show up here under the login of whoever has uploaded them. From the main window, if you don't have a login, you can just explore all projects and you'll see all kinds of stuff there. Or you can go and find Egan Matrix in this list, select that, and you'll be able to see what's there and download stuff if you don't want to actually add presets to the repository. But this video is going to show you how to add them and give some examples perhaps for how you might best document them for everybody when they go and try and find stuff. So assuming you have a login, you'll see a little login name at the top right here. I'll click that. And now the first thing I want to do to upload is simply click the upload, upload a patch option, and I'll get an upload screen. I'll choose what I want here. You can put presets on if they're not quite ready and say it's a work in progress. Normally I've tested them all out first, so I'll click ready to go, which means, hey, it's up there and ready to be downloaded. I'll select my platform of Egan Matrix, of course. Now I'll select what kind of category I have. I just always say it's synthesizer. And now I'll give a name to the patch that I want to upload. I have one here called Feelings Drone. I'll put that in. And now in the description field, I suggest you do something like this to make this easy to use for the community. Start by putting a basic description in. This preset is basically a drone preset which plays itself when loaded that's based on the mauling phrase. So I have a little description of what this preset does. And if there's any instructions that you wanna give, I suggest you put a category underneath detailing what instructions you may want to give. You might indicate, for example, whether or not this preset is intended for only Continuum or Egan Matrix module, or if it's intended only for the Osmos, or perhaps it's not intended for the Osmos. Some instruction there that will better help a user know how to use this would be appreciated. Then I'll normally put information in kind of like the help file for presets defining what the macro controllers, if you have any used, are doing. So I'll put in a section that will define the macro controllers, and maybe I'll separate them out a bit to make them easier to see. That's up to you. After that, I might define what the surface functions are, what X, Y, and Z might be used for in the preset. Well, in a drone, I don't use X, Y, or Z, so I'll state that. And then you might put a little section that tells what pedal assignments are being used. Most presets don't assign pedals. They just have them use the default of pedal one sustain, pedal two sus one. But occasionally some presets might use a pedal to do some functions. And if it does, it's nice to note that in. Then I like to add some tags. Most all these presets I want to tag for Hawk and Audio, Continuum, Continue Mini, Egan Matrix module, Egan Matrix, Osmos. Perhaps you want to put Expressive E in there. Any tags that you think are appropriate, go right ahead. Now the most important stuff, other than telling us how to use the preset, are adding an image for the preset. I have one here for this preset. I'll open it. Now, most importantly, I want to include the MIDI preset file. So I'll navigate to where my preset is and I'll upload that. Revision, you can put some revision number on if you like. Source code, well, we're not really storing source code for this, so I leave that blank. Um, I'm also not putting in a URL, though if you have some video on YouTube that you've associated with this and say you want to give an example of what it sounds like, perhaps you can put a link in there. 
And the only other thing you need to do is select a license type. There are a lot of different open source licenses here. I typically select one of the most common, which is Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike, which pretty much says anybody that wants to use this preset can share it with anyone else. And I have all my fields filled in. I'll now select Submit. And there you can see it's been added to the repository. If you had an error in one of the fields, it will tell you what the error is and ask you to fix that before submitting. Now when I go in and look at my presets, I can see I have feelings drone added and now it's available for the community to use. That's simple. Hopefully everyone will start adding their own presets here and in a bit we'll have a huge set of them available for the Continuum and Osmos community.